at the beginning of the pandemic here in Austria, uh, some experts told us that it's not much worse than influenza, than the common flu. And uh, in the course of the uh, in the course of the time, uh, uh, we realized that uh, the mortality rate is higher than influenza patients. So some some experts told us three times higher. Other experts told us uh, ten times higher. So all in all, we realize that it is uh, that it's um, more dangerous uh, and associated with higher complication rates than in influenza patients. And uh, our patients were uh, quite frightened because they know that they are uh, immunocompromised. So the first measure we, take, uh, we took to reduce the risk of infection was to prohibit uh, the visit uh, of friends and uh, families. So this was the first step. The second step was to only grant access to um, people who work at the at the hospital or who have a uh, uh, important reason to be there, for example, security uh, officers. The third measure we took was to test all the patients um, every two weeks, so uh, to see if there is uh, an infection going on or not, because as you may know that. In one third of all patients, the disease doesn't get uh, symptomatic, so it doesn't show any signs. So to avoid the risk of transmission, we tested the patients every three weeks, and I think we conducted over um, fifty uh, over a thousand tests here at the uh, oncological department and. I think in three cases, we identified patients who had an infection with COVID-19, but they were asymptomatic, and uh, we asked them to stay at home in the quarantine for 14 days. And in order to get back, uh, they had to be tested two times negative uh, for COVID-19, so that uh, so to continue the uh, uh, the treatment at our department.